Hi, I'm Dr. Edwin Hernandez and you're watching TechEd TV. Today, we are going to present a very cool startup from Israel. We really enjoyed the Israeli pavilion and this is a very cool one. Uh, the name of the startup or company is called Clone, Q-L-O-N. And what, what Clone does is that it converts a, a, a three-dimensional object like this one, like a remote control, a square, or whatever you want. And um, by taking a set of pictures, it converts that uh, into a file that is importable into augmented reality or virtual reality environments. So clone basically transports your three-dimensional object that you see on, on in front of you into a file that you can actually import into your 3D, 3D printing program, for example, or your augmented reality application or your virtual reality application and use it there, even animated. So we will see next in the in, in the in the presentation. Uh, in addition to that, the, the the founder is a very cool guy, very smart guy. He even cloned his son, not literally, but uh, well, literally he did, but within the application. So he used the application to actually um, clone his his son, and as you will see, it's a pretty cool uh, application, and we really liked it. One million downloads already on the app Apple Store iOS and Android, and you will see that right here on Tech TV. So we're here with Clone, like I said before, it's an Israeli startup. At what stage are you guys in as a startup? You will say that you are so like a past uh, prototype, you're more of a we're already growth a, area. We're already a mature startup. You are already mature. You're, you're thinking a startup, but you're actually a, a company. Like, exactly. Uh, okay. Perfect. And tell us a little bit about your roles in the company. Who are you and what do you do for Clone? I founded the company with my two partners and I'm the CEO. And Clone is a 3D scanning app that okay. anyone can download on his phone or tablet. So it's a 3D scanning application on your phone. True. Let me show you how it so works. So it's like a Faro. Have you seen the Faro? F-A-R-O. That does like the multi-layer scanning. Okay, well we can we can see it working instead of speculating here. Exactly. So we have the app. Everything you see here, I scanned with this okay. phone. For example, here is a shoe, and it's very simple and easy to use. You download the app. It's a free app. You go here and you print this piece of paper. You put the product that you want to scan on the paper. And there's an AR dome that guides you through the scanning process. So basically, it's, it's like a, a, the, the, a, the AR dome that you're drawing on top of the square that you have here. You just move it around and it kind of like starts clearing all the different sections of the product that you're scanning. Right? Exactly. And you and can once also you're rotate done, it. You rotate it just like a scanner. And it detects the position, I assume, of all the different elements in the, in the squares. It takes multiple pictures from all different angles. And does it do the, pro does it do the processing in the phone or is it in a server somewhere else? It's all on the phone. All on the no phone. No cloud, no internet required. You use scans. And you can see one, two, three, and I have a 3D model. Even the colors are scanned from the thing. Oh my God, that's so amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I can now make a second scan if I need to cover the bottom areas that I couldn't see. Let's see the bottom area that you couldn't see there. Here. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so you use. Okay. So you can you can stitch it. Exactly. And I have We're some tools to change and fix the appearance of the model here. Okay. I can now immediately export it to many different 3D formats for 3D printing, for AR, VR, to put on my website. And the best part, I can already bring it back to reality in AR and put it here on the table. And you start playing with it. And I actually can bring him back to life with some animation. Oh! So you can detect, oh, that's so cool. That's, that's really, really cool. That's so... Cool. Thank you. So you guys are already making some money with it, I guess. It's so impressive that I'm like... Yes, we are. So you guys are like looking for more capital, you're looking to expand. What are your main goals? Strategic partners. Strategic partners. 
because Clone is an app that showcases the 3D scanning technology, but it has many different use cases. Right. As I mentioned, e-commerce, the education space, AR, VR content creation. And what's, uh, how do I, how do developers can get a hold of this app to start playing around with it? Just download it from your website or? It's already in the App Store. Okay. In the Google Play Store. Apple's App Store, and we are on the way to a million downloads already. You're way, of course. I can see that you you can be very very quickly going to a million downloads. <laughs> yeah, so we are we're an incubator, as as we said before as well. So we're excited to see other startups getting getting their their results like like this one. This is pretty impressive. Thank you. And then, how long have you been doing this company for? Well, the company has a history in the toy and game industry, so we've been around for about ten years. But clone this new technology and app is something that we've been working on in the last three years. Excellent, excellent to see that. So we're very, very excited. I mean, have you had any requests to make this bigger? Into like, for example, metal? For example? Yeah, you can print this paper any size, depending on the size of the object that you want to scan. For example, okay, so a, a, any size could be, let's say, even if you have, let's say, like a size of. A, small mini cart for instance like uh, uh, so you just print that bigger put a robotic arm around it circle and circle and circle and you will be able to scan in the same True. way it should work it should work i run i run out of memory <laughs> well i scanned one of my kids on a very large mat i uh, really yeah. can we see your kid I oh you had the kid oh my god of course <laughs> there you go oh just in case oh man that's so cool thank you This is this is the this is this is uh, why has why are you guys in CNN? Really? Why why didn't they, they come and cover it? Well, we were in BBC and oh, okay. also Reuters and AP. But okay, now you're you're in Tech Ed TV, so that's great. Thank Fantastic. you so much. So and and we want to work with you. I'm thinking I have so many ideas because we uh, we were developing a, a device that one of the startups purchased a company. The company basically defrauded them. And they didn't give in the, the files wow. or the design. The so we had to reverse engineer it. So one of the things our engineers do was to basically find a firewall scanner, which was very expensive, and then it has a very tedious process to scan the metal, and it didn't work. Mm. It created a huge file that was not able to manipulate. The only thing that you could do with the file was print it. That's it. But you couldn't manipulate it. So we decided to manually do it get engineers and basically rebuild everything, uh, measure it, and just build everything. And we were looking for a tool like this to be able to regenerate those pieces. So the question is how accurate it will be if we have, like, let's say, like uh, gears. How accurate it will be if we have some sort of like a, uh, like a screw. Uh, if it's a small object, you can print the mat on a smaller oh, okay. scale. Okay. Which allows you to come closer with the camera and get better resolution. So, so if, if you have a camera with like 48 megapixels, I do one of those Huawei phones, and we have a better result than if we use a lower megapixel camera. Actually, we recommend using an iPhone. We're using an iPhone. Yeah. Yeah. Because you use the three dimensional. No, no? but the cameras there are very high quality, and the app is much more advanced, six, seven months ahead of the Android version. Oh, okay. Of okay. IOS. All right, you heard that. So download the, the app uh, for uh, iPhone, not the Android one right now, because it's six months behind. <laughs> All of us with an iPhone, we don't care. <laughs> but everyone with now an iPhone may be question. But thank you very much, Ronnie. Very, you, very, very impressive. You guys are pleasure. watching Tech Ed TV. Here, Ryan, say bye to the, the crowd. He's also part <laughs> of the team. And you you learn why to clone. You really, he really couldn't clone his son. He wasn't kidding about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Well, I'm glad you love uh, this, this, this uh, startup. We really love it too. Underneath, you can find some links. And please subscribe to our channel. You're watching Tech at TV. Click next. We have more shows, more interviews, more live shows, live feeds. We're going to go to many, many more conferences. Stay tuned. Thank you again. There's Dr. Edward Hernandez, and you're watching.